congregation. You may be seated. Hey, welcome on this Impact Weekend Sunday, and what a fabulous, fabulous day to be together. I'm so glad we aren't having to uh, shovel snow uh, in order to be able to rake leaves. I'm so glad that we didn't have to throw salt everywhere and all this stuff. And just those life's simple pleasures on April 28th. Uh, so we, uh, we celebrate those things. Hey, great to have you here. A couple quick announcements we want to share with you. Uh, there are uh, these one-page bulletins, and we'll make sure that you guys get these, uh, these things and uh, connection cards as well. But a couple things that we'd love you to be aware of, especially on that. Uh, kids musical tickets. And uh, it's coming up this weekend. So, uh, so make sure that you get your tickets. If you need opportunity to get those tickets, Alicia is right here. Kristen is in the lobby. Or Kristen's right here. And so see one of these guys uh, right after uh, service, right after we take our group picture, and, uh, and make sure you line up tickets for whatever day you need. Also, uh, National Day of Prayer is coming up this Thursday morning. So if you still need tickets for that, Mavis is right here. And, and Mavis can uh, get you connected again this Thursday morning. Great touch in our community as we pray for our nation, for our community, and beyond. Hey, uh, Kelsey and is it Gabriella or who's Annalise? There we are. Uh, come on up here, guys. And uh, these guys have an announcement for us coming up for uh, Teens for Christ. Okay, so on May 11th, Teens for Christ Ministry is coming to our church and putting out a concert. And so we need to feed 80 teens. So there's a sign up on this poster and it will be out there somewhere. <laughs> so if you can sign up and bring something, that would be great. Seven to eight. Seven to eight. Uh, be here to cheer these guys on, our other TFCers and beyond. And so make sure you guys are a part of that. Uh, cool stuff going on. Uh, we'll continue worshiping God through song and then we'll, uh, we'll dive into our message.
God. Lord, you are a good, good father. God, thank you so much for what you're doing in our lives. God, thank you for your presence here. Thank you for this chance to come together, to seek you, and then to serve you. God, thank you for, for the ways that you touch our lives and for the ways, God, that you count on us, that you desire us to, to be your hands and feet. God, that's a humbling thought. But God, we embrace it. And we thank you for this, uh, this chance to do exactly that. So Lord, uh, speak into us. Work in our hearts and minds. Bless, uh, bless each one of us in our relationship with you and in our touches in this community and beyond. In Jesus' name we pray all of this. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. As you're doing so, would you express your appreciation, Mike? Hey, thanks so much, Mike. A cool, cool morning, and I uh, absolutely love this Impact Weekend. So I wanted to uh, start off by telling you, uh, or asking you, have you ever gotten a new tool or a new, uh, something that you learned that you just can't wait to use? I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I recognize some of you guys just, oh yeah, yeah, I, I know exactly. I mean, we just got a new lawnmower that's super sweet here at, uh, at Waypoint, and if you want to uh, learn how to ride that, how to, how to help uh, serve on that, see Jeff Wallace or Todd Traver, Jeff's going to give a demo right after this. Uh, kind of can't wait myself uh, for this, but um, hey, I remember I remember uh, I got an Instant Pot. Amy and I got an Instant Pot uh, a couple years ago. My brother got it for us at Christmas, and uh, absolutely, I was intrigued by it and uh, learned how to how to cook a couple things in it. But uh, this new tool and these new opportunities and these new uh, new methods of cooking that I uh, we were able to do, I'm like, this is awesome. And so I started, uh, you know, kind of instant potting as many things as I possibly could. And, you know, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say some of the things I've searched online to say, can you instant pot cook this and, uh, and, and whatnot. And so just having a new tool like that, same thing when I got my first Sawzall. Okay, and this great tool that's just kind of meant to uh, be a tool of destruction, cutting into things and, and whatnot. I'm like, what can I use this on? Oh, it's battery powered? Wow, I can take this anywhere. This is awesome. So, uh, uh, we're at spots where we get uh, new opportunities, where we learn a new skill, or we get a new gift that we're able to use. And, uh, and I think there's a parallel there uh, right after Jesus ascended into heaven. And he gave this call that he placed on his followers, okay? And part of his big plan, part of God's great plan for us is that he would use us. I mean, if we consider God could take care of everything that God needs to take care of all on his own. He could, he could uh, reveal himself in all his glory and splendor, conversations done. He could, he could speak loud enough for everyone to hear. There, that is not an issue for God. But God does desire to use you and me to have relationship with us and then to, to say, have touches on your spheres of influence. The people that you have relationships with, show them God's love. And great things happen when we do this. And this is what our, our kids' musical is doing uh, this coming weekend. Uh, lots of effort go into this. But it's a story of God's great love for us. And, and our, our kids are going to get a chance to share that uh, this weekend. So please be in prayer uh, for, for that musical, for all the, all the volunteers, all the people helping to put that together. And let's, uh, let's help our, our kids to shine their light brightly. We get an opportunity to do this uh, this weekend, Community Impact Weekend. And all it is is just an opportunity for, for churches, businesses, organizations to come together to help in our community, to show love in our community. And we have, we have this, uh, this message of showing God's love. And so let's, let's talk about this. Uh, Jesus says early in his ministry, Matthew 5, 14, within the Sermon on the Mount, he says, you are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. That is, we are meant to let our light shine. We're meant to, to do this. Jesus uh, uh, goes further in this analogy. He says, uh, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on, on a stand. And it gives light to all the house. I mean, we're pretty silly if, if tonight you turn on a lamp and then throw a blanket over it. It's not meant to, to have that. In the same way, 
when God touches your life, you're not meant to, to keep that all in, but, but shine your light, show your love. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. And this great verse that, uh, Acts 1-8, this great verse that has uh, taught our church so much, and we've wrapped this up into our, into our message of connecting with people, serving where they are, and giving them hope through Jesus. Acts 1-8, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. And we're called to live this out. We're called to be Jesus' witnesses. Again, he could do it, and there will be a time when he reveals all his glory, when, when every knee will bow and every tongue will confess, and everyone will know. But right now is the time where God is, is wanting to use us in this significant role in our, in our context, in our community, across the street and around the world. Goes on, Acts 1-9. After Jesus said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. And they were, the, they were looking intently, Jesus' followers, they were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky. This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, he will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. As in, Jesus just shared with you, go be my witnesses. You've got these opportunities. The Holy Spirit will, will enter into our lives, and we will be Jesus' witnesses uh, locally, regionally, and globally. We'll be, we will get a chance to do this. And they're saying, why are you standing here? We've got work to do. You've got new opportunities. You've got this calling. The Holy Spirit is going to be uh, uh, in and th flowing in and through you to do your, uh, God's work. So let's grab hold of this and let's go after it. So a quick story from uh, just after this. Acts chapter 3. Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer, at the ninth hour. Uh, and a, a man lame from birth was being carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple that is called the beautiful gate to ask alms of those entering the table. Basically, he was placed in a spot where people would go to worship God, and he would beg for money. And he would do this day in and day out, and people would recognize him and know him and know that he, he wasn't able to walk at any point in his life. But this was the life that he experienced. So seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked to receive alms. And Peter directed his gaze at him as did John, and said, look at us. And he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. I imagine he, he would probably ask hundreds of people in any given day, and maybe a couple would end up giving him uh, gold or silver. So Peter, when he says, hey, look at, look at us, to, you know, we're going we're gonna to speak to you, we're going you know, to engage with you, I, I'm sure they had his complete attention. But Peter said this, and I love this, and I think we can, we can relate to this on, on many levels, but Peter said, I have no silver and gold, but what I do have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand, and he raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles were made strong and leaping up. I love that, that word being there. Leaping up, he stood. He began to walk and entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. I mean, if, if one of us, I mean, if we were to pick at random, you know, somebody to say, would you, as you walk into church today, would you just jump around? <laughs> <laughs> we might think that's a little odd, but for this person who had never walked in his life, he was now able to jump ar around and leap and do this. And, and so he did it, celebrating and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God and recognized him as the one who sat at the beautiful gate of the temple asking for alms. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. I love this, and I love in particular what Peter shares with him. And he says, silver or gold I do not have, but what I have I give you. And, and 
it comes out of relationship with Jesus. And we have this opportunity. Whatever resources we have or don't have, the greatest resource that we have is Jesus Christ. His work in our life and his call to be a part of what he's doing. So, as we go into our community, as we go to school tomorrow, as we're at work, as we're at the grocery store, as we're with family, whatever it is that we do, there's going to be spots where like, I wish I could help out. I wish I could make a difference. But, but what do I have? I, I'm, I'm not smart enough. I'm, I'm, I'm not strong enough. I, I'm, my, my, my body is failing or my mind is failing or, or, or I don't have the financial resources or whatever it might be. Silver or gold or whatever resource I don't have. But what I have is God's message, God's love, Jesus Christ, and what, he, what he's done for me and what he can do for you. And when we carry that into our spheres of influence, the sky's the limit. God will work in and through our weaknesses and uh, did so in this spot. So Galatians 5.25, as we live our lives, if we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. God gives us his Holy Spirit as part of trusting in Jesus as our Lord. And so there's a pace that we ought to keep. And sometimes that pace is running, sometimes that pace is slower, but, but to be in tune with God's Holy Spirit. Say, God, how do you want to use me? What, what ways do you want to use me today? And then finishing off where we uh, finished off last week. Ephesians 2, these great verses. And this is, uh, it is by, by grace we are saved, not of ourselves, so that no one can boast, but with grace through faith. Uh, and this is the gift of God. And so we, we have this, and then the next verse, Ephesians 2.10. For we are God's workmanship. Every single one of us. And other, other, other translations render this as God's masterpiece. I mean, God who created everything, created and designed you. You are perfect for the way that you need to be. God doesn't make mistakes. We are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which, by the way, God prepared in advance for you to do, for me to do, for every one of us to do. There's opportunities that we have to do good works. And when we do that, we're doing so through God's Holy Spirit working in our lives, and we get to touch people's lives. Not because of our own strengths, silver or gold, whatever I, I don't have, but what I do have is Jesus. What I do have is a relationship with God. Let me show you some of his love. So thank you for being here on Impact Weekend. And as we, as we do this, as we get ready to, to close, we'll, we'll do a couple things to finish service. But uh, may God bless you as you serve in our community today. May God bless you and shine through you as a city on a hill would, as a, as a lamp on a, on a nightstand would. May you shine to those that you're serving, whether it be today or in conversations you have later this week or whatever the opportunity is. But may God bless you on that journey. Let me close in prayer, and we'll, we'll do a couple things to wrap up our, our service here. Uh, let's pray. God, thank you so much for this day and for this chance to come together as a community to build into this community, to show your love. And God, we, we do so not in our own strength, but seeking, seeking God to be used by you. God, thank you for the call. Thank you for the opportunity. God, thank you that, that you desire to use us as part of your plan to show your love to a world that needs to know. So God, uh, thank you again for this uh, opportunity, and we ask your blessing on us as we do Community Impact Weekend. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, at this time, do we have ushers lined up? Any, are ushers available? Awesome. Ushers are going to come forward and begin passing offering plates. I know um, we didn't get the bulletins out to you guys. Make sure you snag one on the way out. Uh, we'll still snag those connection cards because in it, we do want to ask if you can uh, commit to praying for uh, a kid's musical and, and a couple other things. Uh, love to stay in contact with you. Um, 
want to let you know what's going to happen as we as we finish up service. Uh, we're inviting everybody right into the lobby for a group picture. Uh, Kathy Hefner is here somewhere. Kathy's there, and she's going to help line us up for a group picture in the lobby. So let's do that right as soon as we say amen. And Danette's also going to help me out with something that needs to be helped out with. Yeah, I think I'm done. I think, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. If you don't have a place where you plan to serve, um, today, we actually are hosting or, or leading one of the rake and run um, teams. So um, I'm in charge of one of the rake and run teams that's going to be going out into the community and going to um, some of. <laughs> what was that? I was flexing for you. You should have flexed there. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, so if you plan to um, to go on. We go to, I think we're only going to two, maybe three houses today, um, but we will go and do some yard cleanup for some seniors that, that need some help. So if you are planning to do that, um, can you just give me your, show me hands if you plan to do that, just so that I have a general idea. Okay, um, and then if you, if you don't have a place to go but you still want to, then just come find me after we're done with the group picture um, because we do still need some, some volunteers to do that. Yes, and if you're not sure where to go or, or whatnot, see, see me, see Danette, uh, we'll, we'll make sure you get lined up in a spot. There's tons of opportunities all throughout the community. Love to have the conversation with you. So with that, uh, our services will dismiss. We'll see you guys out in the lobby. Let's snap our group picture, and we'll, we'll do Impact Weekend.